So let's look a little bit about how angel investing works. So angel investors in the United States are writing, you know, about $21 billion in the United States on a yearly basis into about 64,000 companies. And that's been relatively steady for a long, a long time, for several years. Uh, venture capitalists have invested $84 billion in about 8,000. So that's a much smaller number of companies and much larger checks that they're writing. And so when you look at the United States, the HALO report sort of collects data on this. And we see that we're getting investments from all over the country in different ways. So it's not that everything is in the Bay Area. There actually is a wide range of places where people are writing checks. When we're looking around at companies, we're not taking you know, every other company and investing. There's a lot of filtering going on. Sometimes the companies are wrong for the investor. Sometimes they're at the wrong stage. Sometimes they're simply bad companies. There's lots of choices. But even when we pick that one out of 30, significant numbers of them are not going to succeed at returning money to the investor. And so when we look at how they got to the end of what they were doing, most of them, 50% of them went out of business. A bunch of them were acquired for one reason or another. 7% of them end up just being alive, not dying, not getting bigger, just being. And then a very small percentage, 0.1% actually go on for an IPO. So the vast majority die, the next group get acquired for some reason, and then some very tiny fraction ends up going public. And so why would everybody do this when it's crazy? Well, if you have all of this behavior what you're seeing is that the allocation of assets is not following a normal curve. That means it's not following a bell curve. And so there's very few that produce outsized returns. And if you're building rational portfolios, what we end up seeing is something like a 25% annualized return. And that's significantly interesting. You can get a good annualized return and still have 50 to 70% of your companies not returning positive returns for you.